Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels. And this week, the parable of the wise and foolish builders from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Let's take a look. Everyone, therefore, that heareth these my words, and doth them, shall be likened to a wise man that built his house upon a rock. Matthew 7, 24 Every one that cometh to me, and heareth my words, and doth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like to a man building a house, who dig deep, and laid the foundation upon a rock. Luke 6, 47-48a Hearing the commands of Jesus and obeying them is like building a house on firm bedrock. This is partly because God, being eternal and unchanging, will never change his mind about the things he commands and is always right to command them. Rules that are true, unchanging, and reliable can always be depended on. In the same way, firm rock changes very little over a long period of time and is dependable when you're building something on top of it. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded on a rock. Matthew 7.25 And when a flood came, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and it could not shake it, for it was founded on a rock. Luke 6.48b Most of the houses in ancient Jerusalem would have been made from stone and stucco. They were easy materials to get hold of, and long-lasting once they were set up. However, you had to build these homes on ground that wasn't going to erode or split apart in cracks. If the ground under a stone home shifted or split, it could damage the house and maybe kill the people inside. Even in modern times, with much stronger building materials, people in areas that experience frequent earthquakes have this same problem. The steadier the ground is, the steadier the building is, and this man built on very steady ground. Winds couldn't crack it, floods and rains couldn't erode it. His house was safe. In the same way, obedience to the commands of Jesus can safeguard our souls, despite all the furious evils and temptations that the world throws at us. And every one that heareth these my words, and doth them not, shall be like a foolish man that built his house upon the sand. Matthew 7.26 But he that heareth, and doth not, is like to a man building his house upon the earth without a foundation. Luke 6.49a If the house being built is just being put on a patch of dry sand or soft soil, it's vulnerable and likely to crumble. Jesus says that hearing his words but not following them is the same thing. This doesn't mean that our works themselves save us. However, it does mean that faith without works is an extremely unsteady bit of ground to build a faith life on. You're setting yourself up for a fall if you're not willing to act on your beliefs. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall thereof. Matthew 7.27 Against which the stream beat vehemently, and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Luke 6, 49b Because the ground was sand, it was easily swept away by floods and streams, undermining the house and destroying it. Not living out our faith is the same way, opening ourselves to being undermined. Faith, after all, isn't just about belief. We also need faithfulness. Remaining faithful is a necessary ingredient to keeping our house with God secure. As Jesus said, There are many mansions in his father's house, and he went there to prepare a place for us. But so long as we're living here on earth, our ability to access that place isn't entirely secure, and disobedience to the words of Jesus makes it even less secure. Next, the lamp and the bushel. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.